வெல்கம் டு டாக்டர் காதர் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் the sustainable healthy planet is the goal of my um, work um, because uh, if we do not uh, change our food and food habits now there will be no future for the next generations because the consuming culture of the western thought process the industrial food culture has brought uh, many many diseases many problems to the planet and uh, many fauna and flora are fast disappearing from the planet so uh, the dimensions of the problems are not two or three or four it's it's, it's in different layers and uh, we are not going to be able to produce uh, food at all even if you consider rice wheat sugar meat and the excess food the production of these materials into future uh, in a long term is going to be a herculean task for the human race because the consuming culture of this food materials the nature being consumed to produce this of course i have not added coffee and tea which actually is 30% of the problem in destroying the planet's ecology so uh, indirectly i would like to comment that we are living in an economic model which actually does not produce any wellness neither to the human race nor to the animals nor to the plant kingdom and it's uh, a shame it's a shame on human beings part to continue the same path further into future so it's high time we changed it's high time we changed the thought process and shift our living to an, an ecological model so it's important for all of us to shift from economic model to an ecological model ecological model and to do that to do that we have to become very simplistic in our living which is very connected to nature that means we encourage ourselves to be part of nature rather than robbing the nature and this basic assumption of being with nature is the solution to many of our problems so we need to build smart cities not defined by the digitalized world smart cities defined by the ecological principles so a smart city in a very simplistic manner should look like this all around eight directions we need to have big forests for a big city if we want to have continue to want to have cities or transform the cities into future places we need to deurbanize so you cannot deurbanize immediately overnight um, so you start having enough spaces around the city to create the forests based on which you produce your food vegetables and other needed things for the forest based food production for each city instead of getting pizza burgers from um, sweden or from america to india and things like that that kind of mad transport system has to stop we should not transport things we should produce things locally what i am trying to communicate is if you are in bangalore you produce all the food required for bangalore in and around bangalore city don't even think of getting it from chennai or somewhere else so if hyderabad hyderabad so then you can go on miniature small villages small towns small cities like that so in telugu what we call is intiko mokka veediko వనం ఊరికో అడవి ఇలాగా మనం అద్భుతమైన కల్పనతో వీ కెన్ గెట్ ఇన్ టు స్మార్టర్ లివింగ్ ప్లేసెస్ దట్ బీయింగ్ సెట్ దట్స్ పాసిబుల్ ఓన్లీ ఇఫ్ వీ సింప్లిఫై అవర్ ప్రొడక్షన్ అండ్ అవర్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్స్ సో యూ కెనాట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ద ఫుడ్ 
that we are talking about uh, rice wheat and sugar which requires enormous amounts of natural resources so first of all we need to get away from that and to get away from that we need to find the alternatives which i think we have found in these five wonderful grains which harbor lot of fiber when soaked becomes enough for each meal so 40 to 50 grams of soaked fiber you consume in the form of say 100 grams of uh, siri rice or positive millets so that will give you the fiber enough to control your glucose release into the body hence the glucose imbalance caused by fiberless rice wheat sugar is completely eliminated in a period of 6 months to 1 year and then the microbial imbalance which we have bought upon ourselves due to this technological advances and every baby is now born through cesarean wherein the mother used to lodge the microbial inoculum into the baby's mouth then the baby is coming out of the vagina which is completely avoided now in the name of uh, so called delivering the baby through whatever reasons you know which is absolute unscientific madness that the present modern world is going through so if you can stop that the first initial immunity in fact i was the first doctor talking about immunity for the last 5 to 10 years and how to improve your immunity saptapatra kashaya and i was the one who was talking about h1n1 h5n1 jinka nifa all these so called epidemics that these guys have been trying to uh, create or uh, i i won't say create uh, have created due to the non scientific uh, i would not call unscientific because they claim to have all that in 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 a bracket of science <laughs> so i would say let let's say non scientific methods of producing food uh so the group centralized production of meat um, millions of birds uh, thousands and thousands of pigs thousands and thousands of cows and then the list goes on now they have in places like china they are doing uh, many other animals uh, harvesting all kinds of unwanted uh, unnatural things going on and these are the sources of these viruses that are coming now and then and bothering the human race and human race not having their microbial balance and disturbed by this unnatural methods of giving birth as well as the antibiotics steroids use and fertilizers pesticides use in large quantities during the production and after the babies are born the vaccinations the antibiotic uh, treatments steroid treatments all these are slowly and steadily uh, degenerating the uh, healthy microbes in our gut and creating hell a lot of problem because the microbial population in our gut is actually according to me second brain without which the distribution of nutrients the micro and macro environments in our physiological domains and the supervising of many Uh, neurotransmitters modulators even genetic manipulations uh, all these things are actually being assisted by the microbes uh, that may approximately weigh 1 kilo in each fellow's tummy adult tummy that according to me is actually second brain because without which nothing happens properly and we have been seeing lot of evidence for many diseases that are unaccounted and most of them are now being grouped as autoimmune diseases and all this havoc is caused because no doctor has been worrying about this immunity of different degrees and different levels and the immunity concept is just so wonderful uh, in our uh, body that without basic immunity even chronic diseases uh like heart problems um bad diabetes all these lifestyle diseases also cannot be helped that's what we have figured out in the last 20 years so when when we say we need to bring back this microbial health in our body which we have had 
for millions of years because we were living with nature and we didn't have this disconnect and we are now disconnected completely disconnected from the nature so you want to have the first connection back to nature of course it will take long time for urban people to create the spaces where there are plants trees creepers and fauna and flora and that wonderful beautiful uh, feeling of being in nature it takes i am sure another 100 years for all these cities to transform themselves but then uh, the first connection to our tummy is through microbes so let us begin with that how do we do that how do we start that first connection uh, with the nature and we have disconnected ourselves uh, and so it starts from there and that actually is nothing other than ambali and various kinds of microbes are harbored on various different nature of this fiber little millet different coda millets fiber is different barnyard millet fiber is different brown top millet fiber is different so when you actually soak these fibers swell them with a lot of hydrated fiber and cook them slowly and steadily on a fire uh, sim fire and you become you make porridge and uh, i would uh, encourage all the people uh, making ambali is the easiest thing on this planet earth you soak it 1 to 15 measurements so if you take one tumbler or one measurement of your siridhanya be it rava be it uh, broken rice or flour or the whole rice itself take 10 to 15 times of water soak it well first wash it once throw the water away within one or two minutes and then add 10 times water and keep it soaked for eight to ten hours so you soak it in the night cook it in the morning or soak it in the morning cook it in the night and then put it in an earthen pot and it's good if you cook in earthen pot itself directly and then cool it in the room temperature itself takes half an hour or so then tie cotton cloth so that things start happening there is aeration and you have aerobic fermentation going on slowly and steadily depending upon where you are um, geographically the temperature around you uh, depending on the weather that is the season if you are in a hot place or cool place the time may vary if your temperature is around 20 degrees it may take 15 hours if you are 25 degrees it may take 12 hours if you are 30 degrees it may take 8 hours so to know that exactly you can actually have milk a small cup of milk and have the curds inoculum lactobacillus and when it gets into solidified curd that's when the fermentation is done so this is just by the side of the earthen part where you have the porridge which is to become ambali you can have this small thing so you observe that after that point of time you can have the ambali ready with all the microbes different kinds of microbes and don't add salt no salt when you are tying the cotton cloth you add salt when you are about to consume we can add pickles you can add sambar you can add any sauce to give you taste before you consume not why you are tying the cloth to the pot okay the reason is if you add salt or if you add something whichever you think i, I want a nice smell some flavored material that can actually change the process of fermentation the kind of microbes that are going to harbor into your ambali all that becomes little variations will start getting in so if you add salt selective microbes come in salt increases the concentration in the porridge so there may be some microbes that cannot tolerate higher amounts of salt so that kind of differentiation should not happen selective growth of microbes should not happen it should be allowed there is enough salt already in the grain 
without salt there is no living system present in the world so sodium potassium is very much required both in plants and animals or in microbes to transport water in a micro level from place to place sodium channel potassium channel all this happens through ions so all these things are taken care of by nature you just do this and then make the ambali you have various kinds of microbes consume that and we have lost all our gut is almost empty now no microbes so within six weeks all these wonderful microbes so keep changing the siridanya once in two days once in two days so you have codomillet based microbes brown top millet based microbes like this and within the ambali of codo you might have had various kinds of microbes because they all work in tandem in synchronized fashion symbiotic fashion and they establish another wonderful way of inhabiting our intestines and then rectal areas and then start functioning with synchronicity and symbiotic nature and start helping us the so called hosts they are dependent on us and we dependent we depend on them for a lot of good things to our body so in fact 33% of energy that we produce has to be distributed for immune purposes to take care of the immunity in in a very big holistic fashion and without that cover you are not going to be healthy at all period so the microbial balance is so important for everyone to be healthy and having recognized the problem of our system being completely disseminated with this antibiotics fertilizers pesticides the residues steroids all kinds of hangama created in our body even before the baby is born and after birth within 5 6 years we pump in so many chemicals vaccines steroids antibiotics i mean the list goes on and on it's like hanumanth and bala <laughs> anjaneya state and it's it's unimaginable the unscientific things that we are doing and uh, uh, doing things on our kids and ourselves so i want this madness to stop and to stop that madness you have to think properly and to think properly you need your gut microbes being healthy so if your tummy is calm then your brain becomes calm you can start thinking properly so unless we create this establish this microbial balance in our tummies no one is going to be healthy according to me and that's why i keep saying if there has to be healthy human race and we have to get back to this simple way of doing things and uh, i have already spoken about ambali this wonderful grains having all kinds of nutritional you can get to the nutritional chart that we have provided in our booklets it is um, mines i mean there i can describe it as mine of nutritional values you can just go on digging everything is available in this five grains and no need to look any for anywhere for anything else so ambali alone will give you so 33% of your health is taken care of by taking ambali and the remaining 33% because of glucose imbalance that can be easily covered by our wonderful five grains whose carbohydrate to fiber ratio is in single digit that means the release of glucose into our bodies the blood system is slow and steady and regulated so ambali does that very efficiently so now you are talking about 66% of your health being given by ambali and the remaining 33% depends on your habits good habits like surya namaskar yoga exercises thinking positively being alert and helping others and being happy and not getting disturbed being tolerant and all these mental and then you can say spiritual and then you say adhyatmik all this kinds of things so this is the way i am trying to simplify for common man 
So all these things are required for being healthy. And in this, these five millets play an important role. So if your food is right, then your problems are solved. And if your food is not right, you are entering huge network of troubles, which you cannot entangle at all. One after the other, you're going to get sucked into and you are going to be led into ICU kind of situation. Okay? So this is as simple as that. So people have to understand that there are elements that are required for our body. And I'm trying to actually communicate uh, into modern man's language. Say, so our Ayurveda system has spoken about all the things that I'm speaking in a very different language, okay? And of course, nowadays, people are not even able to read Sanskrit. Forget about understanding what is written. So uh, it is very difficult, uh, uh, the, the way they thought, the sadhus, rushis, and the amount of information they have encoded into these slokas, and it's incredible. Actually, it is spellbounding. It is awesome. Awesome, you know, I don't know what words I have to use. And it's very complicated too. And unless you understand a lot of things, uh, the dimension in which these guys keep talking is amazing. I mean, it, it takes, I mean, in four years, five years, courses are not enough. It takes a lifetime of uh, involved, passionate uh, studies about our systems. And so, but then how can you communicate all these things to common man? So that's why I started making PDFs, handbooks, and try to squeeze in the information into common man's language. So uh, that's how I've been functioning in the last 20 years. So Ambali is the ultimate food. Whatever may be your disease, it doesn't matter. First, fill your tummy with Ambali. That's why, in fact, especially cancer and these immune-based systems, Ambali becomes the most important thing. In fact, thousands of, not thousands, lakhs, maybe crores of people have been um, taken care of by this Ambali system. And many people all over South India, in fact, even North India now, in fact, even in America, I have been getting a lot of um, WhatsApp messages and phone calls that they have been doing fine once they started Ambali. Initially, they find it a little complicated. What is this Ambali fermentation, this and that? But it's just a matter of three to four weeks. You get used to it. And then there is nothing to look back. Such wonderful and easy. In fact, a, a five-year-old kid can do it if you teach them. There is no cooking, school, cooking skills are involved in this absolute, simple, steady way of doing things. So it is your brain in your tummy. And what it means is it distributes nutrients in the micro environment, wherever you require whatever nutrients that is lack, lacking in your place. So when you are injured, when you have some stomach ulcer, so you require certain basic ingredients that require for it to be healing. So who decides it? Who decides it? It is the microbe that is population that is in your body. Actually, it is 10 times more than your body cells. If you have 10 cells in your body, if you count, there are 100 or maybe 1000 cells of the microbes in your body. And when you do not take care of your second brain, how do you think? Because the first brain is dependent on the first, second brain. And of course, second brain is dependent on the first brain. So this communication is there. And it is a whole thing. It is a whole thing. There is nothing like your hand, my eye, uh, your uh, anus. Everything has to function in a coordinated, holistic fashion. So there is nothing like my tummy is all right, my brain is all right. My hand is all right. So you feel the pain. Even if the, your finger is cut, you feel the pain in the body. I mean, you know. I mean, it's here or it's here. You don't know, isn't it? So in this so-called modern day, oh, they say, oh, it is a, a, some antibiotic. If I apply it, it But then that antibiotic is gone and damaged something else. So that's not the way you heal. You have to heal gently and peacefully and in the right manner. So 
for all these things to happen you start thinking for your body you are going to be in trouble it is the body who has to do everything by itself and that natural processes have to be natural for that you need to have certain disciplined way of doing things which are going to be again decided by nature not by you so over a period of time our ancestors have come up with wonderful observations and follow it but the sad part is that we have not been able to take this information and standardize it again and hand over to the present generations and uh, sadly we are also fallen prey to this western thought process of selling our brain huh in intellectual property patent culture all these things have come into play and we are trying to patent turmeric we are trying to patent neem we are trying to patent cow what nonsense is this huh what nonsense is going on it belongs to nature you belong to nature so you started selling your brains and that's how you are becoming stupid so you start selling your intelligence and there is nothing more stupid than that isn't it so we need to recognize all these things and then start functioning behaving in a natural fashion and it's when we understand things that are very complicated the way nature does is simplifies it simplifies things and so we need to have simple mind to understand complicated things and you complicate yourself then you cannot understand this things so you got to live in a simple fashion simplicity is actually the path to overcome the complex situations and uh, that's all that i want to communicate actually we will have more time for question and answers so ambali it is very easy to make it starts correcting and the second brain is created in your tummy which we have lost in the last 40 50 years due to our own making embracing the western thought process and putting lot of chemicals into our body both in terms of producing food as well as in terms of medicines and not only medicines the food processing process i mean the processed foods and storage um all this nonsense you know so started happening and we started packing our food in plastics and you know not wife food we are packing everything medicines also in plastic dabbas and naturally even ayurveda fellows are following the suit they are also making churnas lehyas and packaging it in plastic dabbas very very bad no natural things in plastic dabbas if dried systems okay you can transport in plastic or something but even that is not according to me that good if we have to find natural alternatives for all these bad things that we have been used to in the last 40 50 years in the name of science and technology i'm not blaming science and technology we do need science and technology but it's high time we started thinking on a broader platforms not just reducing things into uh, newtonian mechanics and uh, based on posture germ theory or darwin's i am better than you you are better than me all these kinds of thought processes have to be left behind and sarve jana sukhino bhavant let everything that is born on this planet be peaceful and joyful and that should be our mantra for future generations sarve jana ha sukhino bhavant and we are i think beginning and uh, corona i think has opened many many people's eyes towards this direction and i see uh, coming future slowly people turning towards this holistic way of looking at things and i hope and i am very hopeful uh, further into future we are all going to tread this path of local 
producing food locally distributing it not creating damages to the environment and nature and hope we live through this present hard times and find paths that are wonderful into the future thank you all thank you sir thanks for the detailed uh, discussion on ambali so i have a question sir so yes. you mentioned many times uh, siridanyas are not related to a local place they are related to all over the world i mean they are local and also they are global they are local and they are universal universal so what about ambali i mean uh, it depends on any region or country yeah or yeah ambali I mean. is a method which actually i have noticed in almost every part of the world i went to nigeria i saw and then i was just talking to uh, uganda people which are very far away from nigeria and i have gone to uh, our uh, southern part of the mahamadeshwar betta here and then western ghats and i have gone to uh, visakhapatnam arakuloya and i have gone to uh, himalayan uh, areas uh, the darjeeling everywhere if you meet the olden uh, generation like 100 year old 90 year old they all have something to do with this fermented food processes and if you go to gujarat in fact they were hiding their food in bamboo bottles uh, digging the pit keeping it for one or two days and then coming back and then eating that uh, food and many people uh, actually have fermented many different kinds of carbohydrate and uh, fiber rich uh, roots like um, yams um, uh, tapioca kind and uh, so all all around the planet the ambali is there and uh, fermented uh, breads uh, and you know you go to europe in fact they have this bakery fellows used to have the earlier fermented at broths adding to the next generation if that is not done in fact they started hiding that kind of fermented broths so that their bread becomes tasty their bread becomes better and all these things of course after having added and fermented they heat and bake they kill but they have the microbial left out metabolites and so to that extent they are following so different formats of fermentation processes have been followed all parts of the globe so ambali is again a concept universal but locally there might be small variations and i am trying to communicate to people this is and i have understood the science of it and we are putting trying to put it in place and then the handbook details that and of course uh, dr sarla in her millet magic youtube has clearly uh, made videos about how to make and so that the information is passed on to all over the world and they can make ambali with a good interlocked fiber rich carbohydrate material it need not be this millets alone but these millets are so easy to grow and uh, easy to keep for years together after that you can dehusk and make ambali so millets ambali is ultimate i mean for a practical purpose yeah but the so, principles of making ambali are very clearly demonstrated to the public yeah yeah and okay. i my 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 thinking process has always been to communicate the processes and the information to the people let the people be empowered and we should not hold the information la ah, you come to me i will make ambali and give you that's not right so we need to pass it on and that's what i have been trying to including decoctions the decoctions that we are all uh, i have delineated in my pdfs i have actually collected all the information about the plants that are available right now commonly available for common man I mean a poor lady a, a, a an auto driver should also get his hands on to i could have gone and said okay gloriosa super boy it's very good for where is it you have to go deep into the forest it's difficult and then i can go deep into the forest make a medicine out of it put it in dabba and say come and take it and that's not the right way to do and that's what is been happening so all this putting it in dabba and trying to sell okay there may be some utilage for a point of view you can do that i'm not against it at all but then if we can manage to pass on the information for people so that they are empowered a common man on the street 
has to get the benefit of the knowledge that our ancestors, forefathers have passed on to us. And the knowledge is not yours. You need to pass it on. You need to pass it on for the common man's well-being, wellness. Wonderful, sir. Sir, uh, what is the difference between uh, Siridhanya Ambali and other millet Ambali? And also, you can make Ambali from wheat and paddy rice also. Yes, certainly. You can make wheat and paddy rice uh, Ambali. But the glucose imbalance is not corrected when you are taking Ambali of rice and wheat. And that's where the problems begin, isn't it? So okay. if your glucose imbalance is created by that Ambali, then the problems are going to slowly accumulate. Am I right? That's why I have told you very clearly that interlocculated carbohydrate and fiber. See, some uh, yams are there whose structure is like that. I mean, the fiber is interlocculated. Uh, so you can ferment some fruits. Of course, the fruits, because of carbohydrate being high, will enter into alcoholic condition. <laughs> then you start. I mean, that's the way you make your brandy or fenny or alcoholic uh, preparation. Brewing, basically, it is the fermentation. Mm. So you should be able to stop at that point. And even our fermentation, Ambali also, if you allow it further for two more days, it starts getting into that <laughs> conditions of rotten things, you know. So that's why we have given very clear instructions. Ambali is that. And once it starts, in fact, the indication is it starts releasing little water. Uh, which is the beginning of uh, your uh, fermentation process going further. So don't do that. So that's how you stop your umbilic. And you, 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 will, you will get to know about it in a matter of four to five weeks, you know, when to stop fermentation. And many people think you can keep it in fridge and then bring back. You can do that. But then once you stop the microbes and then go into hibernation and then bring it back. You know, all that is different. You know? So I urge people not to do this uh, putting in the fridge and uh, bringing back and all that. So make enough. Don't make too much of Ambali. So within two, three weeks, you will know what to do, what not to do. Yeah. yeah. This is an important point. Yeah. Yes, sir. Many people keep asking the question because yes. they can't prepare it to one, one go. Yeah. Ah, that is the problem with urban people. You know, they want to do something else. You know, watch TV or uh, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> they keep running into the traffic and they spend a lot of time in traffic itself. <laughs> yeah, sir. Uh, the uh, about the meal uh, legumes. So can we yeah. combine the legumes and uh, make ambali? I mean, any any combinations you prefer and you don't know, you suggest to avoid? No, uh, you can. Be creative. Uh, you see, one such is our idli dosa business, you know, that you have the urudal and uh, any grain you put, what it does is it, it, it selectively makes microbes. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if in, once you do something, mm -hmm. the processed fermentation becomes different. You see, you take urudal, 10% or 15% and put it in any of this grains, huh? mm. starting from uh, brown top millet to including uh, rice, the so-called rice. Mm. What will happen? For the next day, you will get the same smell. That means yes. same microbes have taken over that. One oh. type of, not only in India, you go and do it in America, you go and do it in Himalayas, you will get the same smell. That means the same microbes are coming. And that is the point I'm trying to make. When you do different, different grains, Depending on the nature of that, a tattvake, a tattvikavagi, things happen. So when you choose a particular combination, you are encouraging a particular group of microbes. Am I right? And this is the point. This, this is the experiment you can find out. So you mix Vuruddal with any of these grains. All one after the other. You have the same smell. That's good. It's okay. No problem. You can have, but then do we have a method of, so what you need to do, actually you mix uruddal and uh, grain and we grind and keep it. The fermentation takes us, then we heat and eat. And that's one way of cooking. But we are only happy with the metabolites that they have produced. 
even they are very good for us because vitamin b12 some of these chemicals we cannot make by ourselves only microbes make and that is the beauty of it see it's not just that being there they also make certain things that we require so the heated fermented products give you the metabolites but when you take ambali the way we have prescribed you get the microbes themselves and start correcting the imbalance that we have created so when you eat idli dosa you are getting the fermented metabolites but when you are eating ambali you are getting the metabolites as well as the microbes and that's the difference right sir uh, when it comes to microbes because we are inviting the microbes and we are taking it so it doesn't become a non vegetarian food it is actually the other way around because of microbes you make non vegetarian into vegetarian vegetarian into non vegetarian so in your you are making your body no the meat that you are making it's because of microbes that are in your body which are creating vitamin b12 which is very essential for meat making and things like that so i'm giving you one example there are a lot more steps to go and do these things okay and if you are dead say i'm dead i'm buried in the uh, soil and my body is being degenerated by the microbes and then it is given to plants so it is the meat converted into a plant so it is this wonderful bridge that you are talking so microbes are neither non vegetarian nor vegetarian it is the bridge between vegetarian and non vegetarian hmm. so one more so is, uh... that's why that's how i keep telling in many of my lectures milk is non vegetarian buttermilk is vegetarian you understand the difference yes yes because of the microbes it will convert yes yeah. so and uh, so what about sir our tummy is acidic i mean whatever the food we eat it will acids are released and it will uh, digest our food so what about these microbes once they this microbes goes to our stomach will not they die yes they do um, and uh, some of them survives and then start inhabiting our body and then they start growing and that's why we have to keep taking our food once or twice in a week minimum once you are healthy this ambali and it is called acid rush and our acid rush is 4.5 i mean it doesn't go below that and there are different microbes that can actually sustain the ph there are say uh, the same thing happens in 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 fact cats and uh, dogs and uh, even tigers their acidic rush even goes to up to 1.5 or 2 so there are certain microbes that survive and then go and why actually every microbe tries to transform itself transmute itself and then adapt and only that is going to inhabit your gut microbe and all these things have been studied so absolutely no problem and i can give you a physical example one for you like imagine lot of bison sir migrating from huge pastures and uh, there is a river in which crocodiles are there mm. you know Hmm. now the bison they do not stop they just they are in hundreds and hundreds thousands they just run through the river so one or two uh, actually uh, crocodiles may catch some weak bison and once they catch so in that path there are few of them being sacrificed but then out of 10000 maybe 9980 bison pass through and few of them may be caught by the crocodiles and eaten and the same thing so the acid rush is there you pass and some of them go through some of them die yeah all these things happen in nature yeah it is not one thing you know one dimension so sir uh, taking ambali before food is preferred or after food yeah i prefer before so that's why i say first thing after you have decoctions and all uh, take and even if you want to eat in the afternoon session you can take ambali after 4 or 5 minutes so you can eat the other foods okay and you mentioned you can add anything like you no know, sambar or rasam any anything which is not more hot and more cool yeah yeah, yeah. So, heat wise you know so that the yeah. microbes are not killed yeah yeah but not- actually you can even warm the ambali if you do not like cold sensation in your mouth 
but don't eat very hot but you can boil the water in a different vessel switch off the stove and keep a steel vessel you can transfer the uh, ambali to a steel tumbler and then keep it for few minutes it gets warm and no problem the microbes do not die because if you shock it if you shock yeah. the microbes with high temperatures then there is a different reaction for the microbes so that's we do not want that to happen mm. we if you can actually slowly heat that warmth there is no problem they don't die and so you can actually have little warm ambali if people who are uh, liking warm things okay yeah. there are certain people who do not like cold things mm. and actually ambali is not going to be cold you, you unless you keep it in the fridge <laughs> okay so it's at the room temperature so but people some people don't like they want it always um, warm huh? so you can do that no problem we have mentioned that in our pdfs also yeah we can use a double pot maker yeah ah double boiling it is called boiling. but don't boil it just use the water yeah double boiling method is something else like you want to heat the milk and you know things like that mm-hmm. so microwave can be used for cooking amali i don't prefer microwave oven for anything okay and uh, sir what about mixing uh, fruits like mango say suppose mango sir also- yeah yeah ambali you can have uh, when ambali is ready you can have mango pulp into it and eat yeah you want a little sweetish flavor no problem okay so any other that's fruit- not going to bother the microbes you know <laughs> the external things you are going to add and the tummy is going to take care of it and they do their business of passing through and then try to inhabit the things okay so because when we are taking uh, adding fruits is not uh, disturbing them no anything you can add because it's not going to stay long time no you are going to eat it is for your flavor and the taste you are adding all this you can even add gongura pachadi no problem okay okay yeah sir so, and uh, who in fact i keep telling for corona fellows drink ambali with achar achar is important no vitamin c is needed so <laughs> yes common man poor man you know and you know the calculation if you take 1 kilo of this siridanya add 20 times water and then make ambali 40 to 50 people can have that means even if you pay 100 rupees for kilo 40 people's ambali is taken care of that means each person is taken care of by 2.5 rupees you understand how beautiful the most important thing you can get for 2 rupees 50 paisa even at this juncture of time can you believe that so simple na so yeah. any poor man also can have this yeah sir for persons who have a very chronic issues and uh, uh, so they should be completely on the ambali and what about the acute condition people you see sir when you are acute condition you need a doctor's help okay okay uh, you have to go to a homeo doctor or good ayurveda doctor please don't go to allopathy doctor that's all the information from my side if okay. it is icu condition you go there otherwise please go to a good homeo doctor or good ayurveda doctor both can help you to manage the acute conditions to stabilize you hmm. and once you are stabilized then this siri danya and decoctions will take over and help you over a period of time so don't expect the protocols for emergency conditions that there is a uh, block in your heart and then you are not able to breathe and don't think the ambali the protocol given will help you immediately no it's not going to help you you need doctor's help when there is a presenting condition is severe okay so don't mistake the i keep telling you take 6 months to two yes for anything to happen for you when you follow this this is we are talking about a complete system how to become healthy and being healthy continue to maintain healthy sustainable healthy living we are talking about i am actually not talking about dealing with acute conditions and that let people be aware of mm-hmm. acute conditions have to be dealt with doctors who are well knowledge about acute condition so please go to good homeo doctors good allopathy doctors please avoid please avoid because their system is rid with lot of problems and they create more problems for you if not immediately later time to come 
So as much as possible, I'm not saying don't go to them at all. Go to them when everything fails. The ICU condition, as of now, they're good at it. They will somehow manage, if possible, to put you out of danger. After that, again, come back to this, either to Ayurveda or home. So it is the last ICU they have developed. So follow that ICU condition. You go there. Okay, okay, okay. But then if you have good homeopathy doctor or Ayurveda doctor, please consult them for your acute conditions. Right. Sir, uh, what about the uh, corona positive people and to prevent the corona, what is the role of Ambali? Oh, the most important thing is Ambali for you, <laughs> actually. Okay. <laughs> for all common men. Everyone actually has to drink in especially pandemic and epidemic conditions. They are the frontline defense, you know. Forget about your immune system. You, it will not allow the things to go to immune system also. If you have good, healthy microbial gut microbes, it will take care of the problem in the first place itself, you know, because don't think they are only in your gut. A lot of microbes are there in your uh, sinuses, lung, everywhere. They, they are there, different kinds of things. So they are positively vibrating with your system. They take care of you. Very well. First line of defense is microbial populations. And that is the immunity that we are talking about, which is very good for people who are on Ambali. And those guys will not even develop the response parameters of a regular immunology in, in its so-called modern day terminologies like interleukins or uh, the cytokine rash, all that will not be even presented for these guys because they are strong from within. And so they take care of things even at the periphery level. So that, that's the way it works. Yeah. Wonderful. So Ambali is very important, which actually many Ayurveda doctors are also not completely aware of. This fermented food and with the microbes and the balancing the microbes in the gut is not talked much. Um, maybe some few very experienced, very well uh, knowledgeable Ayurveda doctors know about this. Okay. Sir, what about the patients or people with who have a, a sensitive intestines, like, you know, IBS problem? Because they, mo they take more the dietary food, they'll have more complications. What is the suggestion yeah, yeah. for them? Yeah, most of them are actually already addicted to steroids, you know. Uh, so, the best way to bring them out of that um, drug addiction is to slowly get back to with Ambali only. We have done hundreds of IBS, Crohn's, ulceritis, colitis, all these kinds of problems have been completely healed, completely healed through Ambali. And I suggest them to take Ambali for first six to nine weeks and nothing else uh, in form of liquidish porridge which is fermented which will do wonders initially yeah I, I always keep telling people first two to three weeks you may find it odd and difficult that's because of your psychologically you are not tuned to it so by mind you have to force keep the doctor has to keep counseling and make the patient go through first two three weeks uh, and once that happens then I can tell you now, there are so many families, they say without Ambali, they cannot uh, pass a day. Uh, first, they have to have one Lota Ambali. I mean, that's it. It's become so important in their life. And it is important. It is uh, very important. Yeah. Okay. Sir, uh, many Ayurvedic medicines or herbals are uh, suggested to take empty, empty morning in the early day. Er, er, yes. er, so what yes, about yes. Ambali? The morning is better or evening is better? No, Ambali is not a decoction or a medicinal thing. It is a, a system uh, feeling. So you can take any time of the day, but eat first uh, instead of mixing with a lot of food. You know, like you are full and then you want to take Ambali. That's not the right time. So okay. first you take Ambali and then wait for 5-10 minutes and then you can have your food. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, there are some medical conditions where some persons don't have a large intestine. So in those cases, uh, how, how Ambali will uh, help? Yeah, whatever little intestine left for them, hmm. these microbes will start helping. So for anyone, uh, microbes are important. And uh, 
see, they will also start adjusting. If that fellow has less rectum, they will go a little higher. And so they will find their way. Don't worry about it. So when uh, Ambali is a natural elixir, how about living only on Ambali? Nothing else? No, that's not going to be right because we need a lot of other things. I mean, uh, <laughs> you need vegetables, you need greens, you know. Yeah, maybe for a few days or for a few weeks, even if you don't have anything, Ambali will make you all right, okay? But then only Ambali, I mean, it's like you need to be a sadhaka. Like, there are many sadhus in Himalayas. Maybe they are eating only one or two leaves or one or two certain things like that. And see, that a, an extreme condition you're talking about, uh, which uh, I, I don't think we should worry about. I mean, I have actually met uh, uh, a sadhu in near uh, when we went to Dutch. They, they are great fellows are there. I mean, we don't know their metabolism. I mean, a lot of studies have to be done. I mean, there are, I mean, our mind-boggling, defying things are there in nature and in the world. So there are people who don't eat anything at all. I believe there are some individuals who have practiced and they just sit and sit and meditate for years together. I mean, I, it's, it's mind-boggling. I, we just have to prostrate ourselves in front of those guys and come back. And, you know, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> you don't ask me such big things. <laughs> I am a small man. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I don't know what they do, how they do. I mean, it's it's mind-boggling. I have not got time to go and research upon those guys. If I get time, if I'm blessed to do such things um, by God, I, I'll be very happy to do that. But to translate those uh, wonderful things into common man's knowledge, you need a lot of experimentation and understanding. And it requires a lifetime study, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. So there is a one story which I want to tell. So there is a uh, border security force now which is very which is very uh, you know which is very active and uh, preventing all the terrorists to entering to the uh, india or some place actually now, why guy, why you guys are uh, <laughs> stuck with this terrorist this and see that is the sadness of our present society we are looking at everything suspicion terror uh, war. See, our minds are so polluted that in fact, we are actually suspecting our own people to be terrorists. And, you know, it's a sad state. I agree, it's a reality. Uh, yeah. Go ahead with your so story. Now, now the question is, how the uh, microbes in Ambali will help to protect us within our body? How? How uh, microbes in the Ambali will protect ourselves, will protect us within our body? Yeah, they are going to become yours. They are going to inhabit and transform themselves as a working colonies in your body and they are having the bridge between you and your cells, your epithelial cells, if not epithelial cells, some deeper uh, organic cells also. So they are contacting, communicating, transporting, doing everything. In fact, they become part of you and you become part of them. So... That's how they are establishing the neurotransmitters and then trying to communicate your... In fact, some of people have done some work without good microbial population, your moods also will be different. So if you have good microbial health, you're always happy and peaceful and joyful. So yeah. they are not any more different from you. They have become part of you and they are protecting you. They are looking at other things coming into your body as a part of you. As you said, BSF, I mean, say our shiny cars, again, to get back to your story. Do you have any contact with the fellow who is patrolling the Himalayan terrain, Indian army? Hmm. But he is protecting you, am I right? Yes, yes. You, you have no contact, you, but he, he is connected to you, am I right? Hmm. And that's, it, it doesn't sound well, but it is Newtonian Mechanics, you, you don't understand. But then we are connected because of this bond of Desha Bhakti. He is protecting us because he loves India. Hmm. And we are living peacefully because of him there. The same thing, the microbe. I don't know the Punjabi who is patrolling there and he is protecting us. Am I right? Yes. So uh, how do you 
manage this. And the same thing, we do not know, you think you don't, the microbe, yes. But then we are taking care of him, his family, we're giving some money and things like that. So, but the, the paltry salary that we pay, he is willing to pay his life. You know, see, this is the problem with all of us. See, we, we are actually connected beyond this money. And that's why I keep blabbering this word. Let's get out of this economic model and live in an ecological model. In fact, the paradox is the army people are working on an ecological model. They actually are entrenched with so much of patriotism that they're willing to give up their lives for the paltry money that we pay for them. You see, hmm. it's, it's incredible. And that's why you get this emotional outburst when you see such events and such things. And the same thing, take care of our farmers. What amount of money, how, what respect you are giving. But they keep producing food, whether it is chemical ridden or whatever it is. They're working hard day in and day out, you know, three months, four months to get small kothambri, you know, that the coriander leaves. It takes minimum of 30, 40 days, you know, mm -hmm. to take care of. But then you go and start <laughs> like a <laughs> very, very um, bad way. You start, ah, this is five rupees. Why do I give five rupees? You give me for two rupees. Huh? Like this we are talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we don't have respect for people who deserve respect. But that's because of the present today corporate culture that has created. And we have respect for fellows who are... Uh, playing uh, cricket, even this pandemic condition. Uh, <laughs> uh, they are getting crores of rupees. Uh, and, you know, what? where are we? Uh, what are we talking? You know, all nonsense, lopsy, yeah. lopsy yeah. turvy world we are living. Yeah, we'll go into the next question. Sir. So, in during Corona days, you many times mentioned uh, the take uh, vitamin B, C, D in the natural mm. form. And apple yes. is a good thing. Yes. And take any fruits which have C vitamin. Or if yes. you don't have uh, money, then go for... Uh, Achha, Pickle, okay. yeah. and then go for sunbath for David. Yes, yes. Now many people had followed that and have some testimonials saying that you know uh, yes, they, yes. they went for a thyroid test and they have yes. to take the antibodies test. Now yes. they have a full of antibodies. That yes, yes. Corona came to them and go come gone. to them. Yeah, and, and gone. Yes. And yes, it's yes. like you know, they don't have any single symptom, any sickness. No discomfort, yes, no but, disease uh, at all. Yes. We have we got a one more member where mm. he mentioned. Uh, he is a, doesn't even have antibodies or nothing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so that's what is the front line. Front line is active there. You know, the, the microbial health is so good in his body that it didn't even allow that to be presented to your immune system so that it can generate antibodies. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the way it works. Yeah. So the contest is, uh, his wife got the COVID and his son got and his mother-in-law got and he was yeah. in with the family with his son for whole yes. uh, period. Yes. And yes. Interestingly, he doesn't have any uh, uh, symptoms and he doesn't have antibodies. So in the screen, we can see the uh, lab test reports. What uh -huh. we and yeah, Mr. Murli, can uh, please ask your questions? And the yeah. questions are also uh, concerned in the uh, screen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. Sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir, uh, Dr. Kadroli, sir. I've yes, been sir. listening to your videos for the last two and a half years. And, uh, I think over the last one year, I, I should say, I think I, I took almost 300 days uh, Ambali. In fact, uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of improvement in our my day, uh, digestion and all other ways. Now, during this corona, initially, when we had the symptoms on 29, I thought mine was also false negative in the latest language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, false negative. Uh, <laughs> And then, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, my son and myself is in one room and uh, my wife and uh, mother-in-law is in the other room. And uh, yeah, symptoms was uh, mild only for them. I uh, kind of a bit of fever for two days and all later they recovered. Yes. yes. Uh, and, and then uh, mine, uh, when I tested, uh, yeah, antibodies after one month, that is last uh, one week back, Surprisingly, I don't have antibodies, and my son uh, did have the antibodies, and he was positive as well. Yes, yes. 
Yeah, it was, it was really strange for me that time when I approached Sudhir. Uh, okay. No, it, it's not strange. That means you, you, you have the front wall itself is built very highly. <laughs> That's what B, your BSF, <laughs> Border Security Force is working for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that, that's what the, thanks. Uh, that's very nice. Right. Very nice. In fact, I have had this uh, kind of uh, reports. Uh, many people uh, reporting back to me saying that this happened and uh, many have had uh, very good antibodies, uh, complete antibodies. So, and that's uh, phenomenal uh, positive results for all of us. And, and just six weeks, if you do this, most of us will be fine. And that's what I keep telling. What is the future? How do we face the coming pandemics? It's just this, that Corona handbook is there. If everyone follows for six weeks, then you are in. No problems at all. Very simple. And that's what I'm happy about because we, we now have simple information can be shared all across the globe and anyone can do it without any problem. And uh, we can all face any kind of virus. It's just not Corona. We do not know what is going to come. So, and that's why I have been talking about this Sankramika Rogagalu and Saptapatra Kashaya. All that is very important in our lifestyle. That is very important in Siriji Van Mark. Yeah. So that's what I was telling, like, you no. Know, uh... When the police caught the terrorists are Naxalites after the bomb blast, <laughs> that is no use. Yes. When they, when <laughs> they catch right. them before the blast, that is good. Yeah, that so is good. In the case where the people have an antibody generated, they don't have any symptoms. That means the blast has happened somewhere without any uh, property loss or life loss. Yes. yes. But here, in this case, I mean, when I came to know about this uh, for the time being, I thought, okay, is this something wrong? Something with trouble? And then... No, no, no trouble uh, at all. Yeah. Thanks. You're, Thank you're you doing much. good. You're doing good. Thank so, you. Sir, another question is, uh, the, some doctors suggested some people not to take Ambali because they have skin problems. So what do you suggest in those cases? No, once a day, everyone should take Ambali. Nothing to worry at all. So at least they'll start with the one spoon uh, at a time and then slowly, slowly start increasing something like that. Because no, no, actually, you see, nothing to do with Ambali. All problems are connected to three imbalances. So, you know, don't worry about this. These guys don't know what Ambali is. They don't know the microbial system, gut microbes. In fact, all people are talking about it only now. <laughs> yeah. I have been talking about this for the last 10, 15 years. So, I mean, all these guys are talking. In fact, the word immunity is being talked only in the last one and a half years. And uh, I was the only doctor talking about it uh, for the last uh, 10, 15 years. So, I mean, I don't want to claim anything, but so all these guys are talking right now, no, Ambali does this, Ambali does that. They don't have an experience. We have been doing it for the last 15, 20 years. And I've been watching many patients coming to my clinic, suggesting them they're doing it, coming back, reporting. So we have been collecting a lot of information. And this is what we have done, you know, Pramani Karana. We have redone the experiments, collected the information, um, so, I mean, kind of authenticated it. That's what is happening with uh, us. We are not simply talking out of the hat. And, and even the Ayurvedic concepts, I'm not simply talking. I'm actually putting into practice and practice that is possible for common man. I'm not actually making churna, lehya, and then trying to say, because that's very complicated processes, which an Ayurvedic doctor can only do. I can do it, but that means everyone has to come to me. So how can I transport the whole system, simplify it, and make it available for public so that the public man, common man, the poor man on the street is empowered with the information that he can keep himself healthy? Because... How can you deal with 1.3 billion people? And even if 10% fall sick, it's 1.3 crores. I mean, what medical system can deal with this kind of numbers? It's impossible. It's impossible. So think logically and logistically. The only way for me was to reach out to the common man and inform the people 
how to be healthy and that's what i have been doing since here yeah so uh, the bigger and complex is the problem simple and shorter is the solution yes simplify now, the situation you are getting a better solution now because of the corona maybe it a one point one one wave or second wave or no tenth wave oh uh, yeah they, you don't know these guys can create another wave another wave <laughs> because they do stupid things and the wave after wave is coming if only you were to keep quiet it would have just passed away yeah so the saptapatra kasha is what you mentioned on the ambali and uh, eco bcd formula what i say is really helping many and uh, we are getting many testimonials within our network and within our families yes. Yes, so now yes. a topic a question is about the post covid patients so many got uh, covid and they got recovered maybe through allopathic medicines or maybe steroids yeah. because now their body is full of antibiotics and steroids now yes, yes. how to use ambali to cleanse those things everything from our body yeah the same absolutely the same procedure no need to change okay. because they can regulate themselves that is the point the microbial populations Uh-huh. regulate themselves they live on a symbiotic basis the principle they work as a unison they communicate they connect they synchronize they live in symbiotic way with our cells put together so what is required is kept what is not required is thrown out hmm. and dealt with so please go through the same procedures without problems and uh the machpatri parijat and gilai these three kashayams help a lot on post covid condition in fact just yesterday one patient came to my clinic he was paralyzed and almost went into coma after the second vaccination before vaccination he was covid positive then he took vaccination and uh, was there for 20 days in the hospital then he was all right for 10 15 days and then he started losing his speech and walking and on he was on bed and then they went to the doctor the doctor gave up and then i had to go and see him in his house because they couldn't even bring and now it is 23rd day they are on these kashayams and uh, our ambali and i actually asked them to put him in the Uh, a, a, a wheelchair and put him into the sun every day in the morning uh, and luckily we had uh, rains now here but even there is rain i said morning just keep him in the sun with the dissipated sun also mm-hmm. so the vitamin d and of course we have another technique of giving vitamin d that is sun dried mushrooms mm-hmm. you make soup you curry that also helps uh, to some extent so we did all this now it is 23rd day he actually came up to my clinic climbed by himself uh, uh first floor and then sat and talked to me and then went very happily so we have had very severe case of <laughs> problems oh. we have taken care and not only him he is of course very very acute and very severe case left out and uh, dropped out case but we have many intermediary stages after vaccination before vaccination many many problems we have been dealing with regularly for the last one and a half years i have been seeing minimum of 10 to 15 covid patients this way or that way hmm. and uh, yeah uh, and i have been like this i mean i, I am like this all the time <laughs> so <laughs> so you can tell corona viral dose is high this that and you know I, and i am just with my juba and paisama and at the most i keep a mask because we have to keep following the rules uh, so i just keep a mask and uh, i don't handle with uh, gloves and, and i never have done that and in fact uh, we uh, shake hand with people tell them give them confidence in fact one girl a 38 year old uh, i i call girl i mean a woman came she was scared to death once she got to know she is positive and then everyone uh, put her uh, aside and even her husband put her in a different uh, uh, place then uh, his son came and told then i just said i just went into her house and told her touched her don't worry ma it is nothing to worry 
And believe me, in two days she was all right. So it is the con. We are scaring people. There is nothing to worry about these things. If if you are immune strong, that is the point. I am not saying there is no corona. It is not killing people. It does. It does. If your field is weak, if your field is strong, nothing bothers you. And that is the point we are trying to communicate. So. doctors have to give confidence to the public and i have been doing that even before this happened i sent out a video do this do this do this and be fearless and that's what it is and uh, all these things are not going to help you okay they are all statistical you close your mouth you close your nose and it may actually cause trouble on a longer run you know because you have to eliminate your carbon dioxide completely and you keep accumulating you will become sick <laughs> mm-hmm. sir uh, there are some situations where the people has to forcefully take to vaccines so how ambali are you know what the protocol what you suggested in the covid protocol kit uh, obviously see what are vaccines whether they are weakened virus or some piece of it Cloned or mRNA artificially involved, or whatever it is, it's all again the same parts of the virus. Am I right? Yes. So the antibody system that you are going to develop can deal with that. Yeah. How different it is? It is not very different. Of course, you have some adjuvants, some stabilizers, which are some chemicals that are all not going to pose any trouble if your body is dealing with. a toxic morbid waste which we are making it capable of by making them eat this wonderful fibrous grains which can do all this in fact the fiber in itself can clean lot of dirt in your body in fact that's one of the major roles that our fibrous grains with their wonderful enriched fiber content are that is the key to keep you healthy i mean every day we are cleaning our system am i right little millet cleans your reproductive system coda millet cleans your immune and blood production system that is bone marrow and your fox tail millet cleans your lungs and other things barnyard cleans your soft parts so like that so that's that's the whole way of doing things hmm. sir and the last question so there are some uh, decautions you mentioned in the covid kit uh, you know in the regular protocols so gilai ai is not advised to for those having autoimmune disorders so what you what you suggest on this i mean no no take... in the in in the course of the order of seven kashayas mm-hmm. nothing will bother see an individual basis gilai will work but the way gilai is given in ayurvedic system they make some churna they do this they boil and all that but our presentation of gila is very different the decoction just boil the leaf take the water soluble extract and present mm. that is not the same thing as you are eating gila leaf or making some gila churna or something like that so there is qualitative difference between our, the way we are presenting in our protocols the decoctions Mm-hmm. it's not a complete ayurvedic way of doing things it's it's a very highly um highly sophisticated way of doing things because of the knowledge that we have gained through homeopathy through following other systems the knowledge of um immunology knowledge of lot of toxic materials I have dealt with many toxic compounds chemicals and how they behave in different systems microbes uh, mammals and plants all this knowledge uh, of uh, these systems have uh, we have come to that uh, decoction method which is water soluble so there are a lot of things that go into this so many people think oh gilai means oh gilai no the decoction method is absolutely very sophisticated and very uh, different from many of the ayurvedic preparations and being water soluble makes it absolutely no harm to the body so all this lot of lot of knowledge has gone into designing these things yeah uh, I, i don't want to blow my own trumpet but uh, that's the what it is yeah 
yeah thank you sir for your valuable time and thanks to the participants with this we conclude this today's webinar and sorry we can't take further questions and thank you uh, padmaja garu and murli garu and uh, um, venkatrao garu and lakshmi devi garu for joining this today's uh, session and being a co-host and and thanks lot sir uh, thank you, you are, thank you, are, you all you are guide all your Good guidance night. and Shubh your ratri your guidance and experience has saving many and with those we concludes it is today's webinar thank you all Sar sarve jana thank you for watching if you like the video please like share and don't forget to subscribe our channel dr khader lifestyle press the below bell icon to get notifications